Got the best people in all key positions. It should be mind blowing for him. As a man's in your new treatment? Um, no, I did some rewrites. Yeah, they're printing it out, yeah. I think I'd... you should go through it for everybody at the tables. So. Right. The pre-production meeting, it's the meeting of the minds. You find middle ground that you all can agree on and live with, and you move on from there. Basically what I was doing rewrites for the sort of second half of the treatment, which is where I, I think a lot of the red flags were as far as... The killing and... Right. So instead of showing it, you're implying it? Right. I mean, I was talking about ways of camera movement and... Um, other ways of sort of illustrating somebody, some, this thing happening. Give me an example. Like um, when Jonathan walks into the bathroom and um, electrocutes, I think it's James, I believe. Um, this is a total Hitchcock move to show the lights in the house flickering and show a power surge, like something's been thrown into the tub. I didn't expect him to be as prepared as he was, no. And it's a lot of pressure seeing all these people in one room. I mean, in the Adidas video, like we were talking, they're all dead. Those yeah, are but dead. It also is a bit more tongue in cheek in that. Yeah, right. Kareem from Epic, him and Al sort of had, were on the same page. They kind of both came in playing hardball, or wanted to sort of throw some stuff at me and see how I would deal with it. You know, when I wrote the treatment, I went to the extreme side. Right. Thinking it wouldn't even get this far because I thought, okay, the censors are going to come in and they're going to say, no, we can't do this. The label's going to come in and be like, this is crazy. We can't show the band being killed. Okay, Nothing. well, half of your dream came through. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I mean that's, why I, that's, right, and that's why I went to the extreme side. The bottom line is I got to end up with a video. That's it. And we need to end up with a good video. I think that the basic concept of this happening is really a smart idea. It's really actually pretty funny if you think about it in, a, in like a black comedic way, you know. But at, Not, the end of, but at the end of the day, they are they all just got murdered. So it's like. Yeah. But they had some music video. It's fantasy, you know. Right. Everybody goes through standards. Every single director. Frankly, it didn't matter whether or not you know he was that upset about it or not. If you wanted to do it, we had to scope it to a way that makes sure it air. The fact that they like the idea, they're smart to realize that this is actually, you know, it's black comedy. It's actually pretty funny in a very dark way. And um, they're not dead. They're going on tour in two weeks, you know. Hey. <laughs> yeah. He has interests to look out for, and there's a lot of money involved. And he'll be somebody that has to be dealt with a lot, because, you know, it's the label. The label fronts on the money. I think he's going to be shocked at how much pressure actually comes down when you have label and management involved in all the different departments. And it's, it can be frustrating. That's one of the biggest things to deal with as a director. It's just the heat. So let me ask you a question. Are you shooting this video from top to bottom, music, musically? So we get, you can get bits and pieces in case you decide to go in that direction? My first initial idea was to have no performance, to have this narrative happening while the music's playing. You see a band like Radiohead, amazing live band, incredible. Their videos, almost never now, the last few years, no performance. It was shocking to hear him say that, and I think that was probably the wrong thing for him to say in that meeting. I saw it in Al's face, and Kareem is kind of like, you know. Anytime we do a music video, the performance is the most important aspect. That's the, the meat of it, because we want Corn to be the forefront of the video. I think every band is unique. I don't think you can you can cross pollinate that. I think every band right. has their own vibe completely. And also in a time right now where rock music doesn't has really hasn't applied in the last few years, they've still been able to maintain their you know presence on That's true. and a big mainstream MTV audience. That's true. Why? Because they perform. And, and not everybody gets to go to a yeah. great, and great. And not everybody gets to go to a concert. I totally agree yeah. with that. Like I think we should have we should you know perform the song through and through. If you have a good performance, top to bottom, you got a video. If everything else fails, you still got a performance. Um, that's it, I'm cool. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. Yep. Very nice. Good to meet you guys. Okay. Thank you too. I don't think that Kareem has total confidence in me yet. Cool. Great cool. job. Yeah. I said something to him and he was sort of like, eh, to me. Like, yeah, kid, get out of my face. It's all working. Yeah. You know. The beginning. That's the beginning, right? I think he's still being looked at as a contest winner. If, I think we're all trying to look at him as a director. We're still treating him as a contest winner. How do you think he did? Good. I think I convinced him, you know, as much as I had to to get to the next, the next level. Day three. Overnight, September 17th, September 18th. Okay, a bit sick of this camera.
this dream can really, really make you make your head really tweaked out. And I said this model on the ground, but I guess to get to this level you have to make these compromises. Next on treatment, Sean ponders the missing link. The band. He's gonna have politics and battles to fight. Everyone's gonna be looking at him. I gotta go! And later, does the director keep his promises? You said I only have one more take, you liar. Sean Dack has hit his LA stride. He's met the players. Now can he convince the dream team that he's not just a dreamer? Somebody has taken over my office. What's going on? Now that we're getting into the second week, it's more like I'm a director. I want to show you some art director reels. And the contest is in the background right now. Just watching him come into the office every day, I think he actually is viewing himself as a director. Sean. Hey, Sean. Hey, Rob. Hey, Rob. How's it going? Hey, I think I'm doing an okay job so far, as far as like maintaining things and working through things and working with people. You probably need four cops. Right. No more than two or three friends like hanging out in the house. Okay. And we need one girlfriend, a California girl, as yeah. opposed to like a New York girl. Okay, perfect. And that's just me thinking that because I'm from New York and okay. you know. <laughs> I'm really nervous today. I'm just joking. That's good. There's the one place which I really like. We have to actually go there and see how big these spaces are. I knew that location was very important to the treatment. The location had to have a character to it. Otherwise, the treatment wouldn't work. We get to the first location, and we're like, oh, this could kind of work, but it's not that interesting. There's something this big, there's not really much we can do with it unless we broke it up. We go to the second location, and it's like a dwarf version of what the folder was. Then we go to this third location, and everything that we liked about it wasn't in the folder. I like to practice here, that's for sure. There's lots of little yeah, bands. I mean, this house is cool because it's, it's, you know, it's, it's vintage or whatever. It looks like it could actually be their house. Yeah. I like it. It's the one. Perfect. There's a lot. I was told that he likes blondes. That's yeah, yeah. So, so. like one blonde, one brunette, four. Okay. David. The tape will tell you a lot too. I'm not feeling her as much. She's very natural. She's really pretty. She's pretty. She's too tall. I think Liz would be good. Yeah. This is totally cute and totally normal. Oh. Today, class. We just sort of wanted to break everything down, share everyone how we we're gonna sort of fit everything in within that amount of time. Um, basically, we're opening up with the surveillance intro shots of all the band members. Jonathan back in his room, same shot as before. Cut to 16 of him starting to brood and starting to get, you know, really angry. If everything is really mapped out, and I find if you have a great shot list, you've got good storyboards, you end up usually on the good side. Just to cut to the chase to what you had said about him actually brooding on the bed. Might not be a bad idea, like you said, get the full performance of him doing it, because you could then do a multiple ending mm -hmm. for something in the future. I mean, think about a DVD. The management, the label wanted.